Now let's consider an exciting exercise for you. So we have this bar whose cross-section is changing with length. So if I have the coordinate system defined here, and x equals 0 is there, and x equals L, which is 3, is here. So this is x equals 3, and this side is x equals 0. I see that there's a displacement or a relationship between the force or, or cross-section and the length of the beam. Our previous example was a little bit different. We had a bar like this, right? And I had A1 and A2 here. L1 and L2 here and they were very discrete so I had two discrete uh, sections of the bar which I could do a discretization but how do I discretize a bar like this whose cross-section is changing with uh, location or X so the first thing I, I want to do is to find the relationship between A and X I, basically what is A with, as a function of X so A of x seems like a linear equation so it would be c1x plus c2 and in order to find the c1 and c2 I have to look at the boundary conditions a, a0 and a3 so at a equals 0 or at x equals 0 a is equal to 10 centimeters squared I should give the c2 and at a equals 3 or at x equals 3 a is equal to 5 centimeters squared which would give me c1 so having known that I can find the cross section at each location across this bar be here or here I can find the cross section all I have to do is to put the x there or here which is important and very helpful because now I can discretize this bar into as many elements as I want like here I have six elements and seven nodes right and each of these would be at L over 6 length right L over 6 L over 6 L over 6 now I have a1 a2 uh, let me let me actually uh, rewrite them let me erase those this and that and go back to pen so this would be a1 this would be a2 on and on and this would be a6 because I have six elements but how do I find a1 a2 a3 a6 basically at each element I have two nodes look at here element 1 has nodes 1 and nodes 2 and each of these nodes have their location so for each node for each node I have an X and if I put that X in A of X, I can find the cross-section at each node. Now put them here, node 1, node 2 cross-section, and average them, I find the cross-section at each for each of the elements. Now I have the L's, which are L over 6, and the E, which is constant given here, 200 gigapascals. I can find the stiffness for each of the elements from an equation like that. I just have to put the corresponding element cross-sections and lengths here if I do this the rest of the process is similar to the example that we covered the only difference is that now I have six elements instead of two elements and the most efficient way to solve this is using a computer program like MATLAB or Python or whatever programming language that you're comfortable with good luck having fun with this exercise